Hello, my friend, and welcome. In this video, we're going to walk you through the process of adding an email and setting them up to drip out to your subscribers. What we mean by drip out is that a email will have a specified time before it's set to go out. So what I've done is I've loaded up a demo sales funnel, and uh, what you'll see here is you'll see just a regular order process. And here on the squeeze page that we have selected, you'll notice there is an email marketing tab. If you go ahead and you look at a, you, you highlight that tab, just click on it. You'll see the add new email here on the right hand side. So what you need to do is just simply open up that that option, and here you're going to see the from name, and you could put in your name and your subject. This is a demo email number one, and then this condition will be for everybody. HTML body, obviously this is going to be the text for your actual email itself. So what I've done is I've actually uh, pre-populated some of these email swipes that I've got here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste these into the email. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything crazy. This is just for demo purposes. Go ahead and paste that in there. So there's one email. Uh, the delay here, this is how you're going to set your drip. So this one is uh, the number of days it's going to be delayed before this email is sent out. So we're going to set this one up at zero because we want this one to go out right away. And where this one is your delay hours. So say, for example, if you have an email that you want to go out a half an hour after the person opts in, you can put in here 0.5. Um, you can put in here any number you want. You want it to go out three hours, four hours, whatever you want. But for the video, we're just going to go ahead and set this up as zero for the delay. We'll click create email and you will notice that right here is our email. So now we want another one. Let's say we want another email to go out tomorrow so that we get an email going out when they subscribe, another one going out when they uh, when they, when they check their email tomorrow morning. So we'll call this one Andrew2. Uh, this subject will be test2. Uh, this is gonna be an everybody email. Let's go get some content for it. Come over here to my swipe. I'll just go ahead and grab this one right here. Simple, easy to do. And then we'll go ahead and paste that right here into our HTML body. This one we want to delay out one day because the first one was set to zero. That means it's going to go out immediately. This one's going to be set to one day and we're going to create the email. Now let's say, for example, a couple hours later on that second email, uh, we want them to get a, a uh, another email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an email. I'm going to call this test 2.2 and the subject on this one, Andrew 2 or 3. The condition is going to be to everybody. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send that email. This one we're going to call a read, okay, so that just like they didn't get it uh, the first time, delete that. And then here we're going to go drip delays. We're going to set it to one, just like our other one. And then delay this email. We're going to delay this one by four hours and create the email. So as you can see, what's going to happen is the first email, when they opt in, is going to go out here. The second one is going to go out the following day. And then the third one is going to go out the following day, uh, four hours after the first one. Now, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. This is just for an example purpose. But uh, this is actually how you're going to be able to set up your email autoresponder within the ClickFunnels platform uh, to be able to go out to your members on a drip style format. So if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at support at ClickFunnels.com. And you make sure you have yourself a great day.